hello guys welcome back to my channel so a new series just replaced twist of fate on z word and it is called matri the rules of love if you want to see what that story is all about the full summary of the story in english of how two friends from childhood later turned enemies please keep watching this video till the end the story is about Maitri and Nandini who are best friends right from childhood and in order to avoid being separated from each other, Maitri and Nandini both hope to marry into the same house so that they can always be together and nothing will separate them. 15 years later, Nandini and Maitri are now grown up. Nandini is married to Ashish. They are also expecting their first child and Ashish is an advocate by profession. Eventually, Maitri marries Saranj, who is Ashish's younger cousin. Unknown to anyone, Saranj is a drug addict and on one fateful day, Saranj, Maitri, Nandini and Ashish get into a car accident. Ashish and Maitri luckily survive the accident, but Nandini falls into a coma after delivering a baby boy, while Saranj succumbs his own injuries and he died. Saranj's mother, Sona Tivari, blames Maitri for Saranj's death. Nandini's mother, advocate Vasundra Sen Rathor, accidentally mentions in front of Ashish that Saranj was a drug addict before his death, and this shocked Ashish. Maitri decided to take care of Nandini and Ashish's son. Vasundra informs Maitri that Saranj was a drug addict. Maitri is devastated and she confronts Ashish. Ashish tries to conceal the truth, but he fails as Vasundra had sent Saranj's report to Maitri. Ashish gets arrested and Vasundra uses false evidences in court against him in order to prove that Ashish is a drug dealer. But later, Ashish gets bail and he attends the son naming ceremony. Ashish and Nandini's son is named Nandish, a combination of Ashish and Nandini. And Maitri and Ashish decided to raise Nandish as their own son since Nandini, the mother of Nandish, is in coma. Six years later, Nandini comes out of coma and tries to bond with her son Nandish, who doesn't want to get rid of Maitri because Maitri raised Nandish as a mother when Nandini was in coma. As a result, Nandini turns against Maitri and she started to think that Maitri is snatching Nandish from her. Nandini becomes evil towards her childhood friend Maitri and she tries to create difficulties in Maitri's life and she turns Maitri to her enemy. After a series of events, Nandish accepted that Nandini is his mother, but still, he continues to refer to Maitri as mother. For Nandini's happiness, Maitri leaves the Tiwari mansion and she meets a fun-loving man, Ash, and she marries him. Later, it is revealed that Ash is actually the half-brother of Saranj from his father's side, and eventually, both Maitri and Ash moves into the Tiwari mansion again because Ash also have a right to the mansion. Ash's mother, Kamna, tries to torture and kill Maitri, but she is finally exposed. Ashish later died in an attempt to save Nandini from a fire, and Saranj, who is actually alive, turns furious when he discovers that Maitri has remarried after everyone thought that he is dead. Saranj returns to the Tiwari mansion and he pretends to be Ashish in order to seek revenge on Maitri for getting married to Ash after everyone thought that he was dead. Maitri gets pregnant for Ash and she gives birth to a baby boy, but Saranj stole the child and misinforms the family that he has murdered the child. Ash blames Maitri for the possible death of their son and he throws Maitri out of the Tiwari house. On the other hand, Saranj gave Maitri's child to a greedy woman and the woman leaves the child in the trash. Maitri finds the child and she decided to raise the child, but she is unaware that the child is a biological child that Saranj stole from her. Seven years later, Maitri lives with her son Swayam. On the other hand, Ash still blames Maitri for their son's death and he has adopted a girl called Jui. For the sake of the family, Ash and Nandini get married and Maitri is eventually engaged to a boss called Yash. Later on, Saranj comes back and tells Maitri and Ash that Swayam is their son, but due to Swayam's illness, the doctor tells Ash and Maitri that they have to produce Swayam's sibling who would donate bone marrow to Swayam if they want Swayam to be alive. 
Maitri and Ash reconcile for the sake of saving Swayam's life. So Maitri breaks her engagement with Yash and Nandini breaks her marriage with Ash. Nandini gradually realized that she committed a great mistake by breaking her marriage with Ash for saving Swayam's life. So Nandini again turns revengeful and she joins hand with Saranj to kill Maitri. Sona learns about Nandini and Saranj's plan to kill Maitri. So Sona decided to inform Maitri. But as Sona calls Maitri to expose Nandini and Saranj, Nandini pushes Sona from the terrace and Sona died. So the secret of Nandini couldn't be exposed to Maitri and the story continues. Okay guys, so I've watched this um series. I've watched till episode I think 90 or so on ZTV and so far so good but in my opinion i feel like they actually rushed it like ztv rushed this series the producers the everybody they rushed this series but then it is quite interesting but it is nothing new it is something that has been done on z World before but <laughs> it's a new series with new faces so definitely we are still going to watch to an extent before we get tired so thank you guys so much for watching so you've already seen how two friends became enemy just because they were childhood friends from the beginning but then they planned to get married into the same house and that was the cause of their problem right from the beginning i'm not sure if a lot of people are going to find this series interesting but for me it is interesting to a point before it now gets you know start getting annoying and stuff but then you guys will still enjoy it to a point thank you guys so much for watching i might be giving the update on this channel only god knows thanks for watching bye guys